What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with Eternatus alongside with one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the ranked double ladder, which is Togedemaru. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But getting started with this team, we're starting off in that top left corner with my favorite Pokemon for ranked battles, and that is going to be Togedemaru. I don't know why I love this Pokemon so much. He is super, super strong, and I feel like he's super underrated. He's just great at controlling battles, and he's awesome and tons of fun to use up against big, heavy meta Pokemon like Legendaries and all that because it's just a little mouse. It's legit just a tiny little mouse that's just dominating the battles. But he has Lightning Rod as his ability, Focus Sash as his item, and then move set of Nuzzle for Paralyzes, Helping Hand to help out allied Pokemon, Steel Roller for a Steel Stab move, and Fake Out for Flinches. Right next to him is the heart and soul of this team, which is going to be Eternatus. This Pokemon is an absolute beast, and he's very, very strong. Pressure, Life Orb as his item to deal more damage, Dynamax Cannon, Sludge Wave, both for Stab, Protect, and Flamethrower for coverage. Cannot wait to use that Pokemon and show him off in rank battles, considering we never really use him. I think I only used him like once before on the channel, so it's going to be fun to use him once again. Middle left is a Pokemon that's been on every single Series 10 team. It is Rillaboom. I don't even feel like I need to go over him. You guys can just look at him. There's Rillaboom on our team. I don't have to go over his moves or anything. Grimmsnarl is right next to him, and this is a different Grimmsnarl, which is very, very fun. It's going to be cool to use. It has Lash Out, Super Power, Thunder Wave, and Protect, so it's actually more on the attacking side than support Grimmsnarl. So I cannot wait to use him and show him off in these battles. We have Prankster ability still, but Babiri Berry as an item, so we can actually soak up a Steel Hitting move. Bottom left corner is going to be the Water and Fighting Earth Food with Close Combat, Surgeon Strikes, both for Stab, Big Damage, Aqua Jump for First Turn Priority, and Protect. We got Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects, and the Sea Incense so our Water moves will deal a little bit more damage. Bottom Pokemon on this team is going to be Volcarona. This Pokemon is awesome. I feel like he's very, very good in certain situations, so hopefully we get to bring him out and show him off in today's video. Flame Body has his ability, Grassy Seed, so he's going to be able to pair well with the Rillaboom and get that stat boost. Then he has Fiery Dance, Rage Powder to protect the allied Pokemon, Quiver Dance to set up, and Protect as his final move. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Series 10 Eternatus team. Let's try to get started on a strong note with a victory here. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Indeedee, Staka Taka, My Shell, Whimscott for Tailwind Support, and Arcanine as his final Pokemon. I feel like I gotta lead the boy. Toga tomorrow might have to come in as the lead. Let me think about this one. Or we could go Volcarona and uh and Grim. Or not Grim Snarl. Volcarona and Rillaboom. That could be a solid lead. But I feel like, yo, let's rock out with Toga tomorrow here. Let's get him popping out here. I'm also gonna lead Eternatus. See if we can get him rolling and get him rocking out in the battle. I'm going to bring Rillaboom in the back end. And the final Pokemon is going to be this Water Earth Food. Really want this Pokemon. Ooh, or I could go Grimstar as the lead. That's not bad. Because he kind of counters up on the uh, on the horse. I'm thinking this. Let me actually check out the Grimstar stats before we actually make our play. I know I have 30 seconds left. Just want to see his uh, stats for attacking. But it's not too bad. I feel like he can definitely take him out. Hmm. I really want the Urshfu though. Maybe we'll take out Rillaboom. Do we really need Rillaboom here? I just feel like Rillaboom is just great in all situations. It's either Rillaboom or Grimstarl. What does Jeans want to do here? I do have Thunder Wave. I can pester with that. I can control speed with that as well. I'm going to go Grimstarl. I think Grimstarl is going to be my final Pokemon. Let's rock out with him. Let's do it. Let's have him in that back end. Just in case Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and uh, Grimstarl pair up in a certain situation, we can just have him out there, lash out, and potentially pick up a huge KO. That could be big. I was thinking of leading him with the token of Mark, because just say he leads a Shadow Rider Calyrex, I can just nuzzle it up, slow it down, Crimson Arrow can outspeed, go for a lash out, and potentially just KO that thing in one shot. But let's see who he leads and see how he's going to go out and bout with this. He drops, okay, my shout and Whimsy Caught. And lovely little Whimscott. So I can fake out him before he fakes out me. And that could be our play if we really want it to be. Or I can just fake out the Whimscott. What I think is going to happen? I honestly think Toga tomorrow might outspeed. So I'm honestly just going to go for a fake out on the U. And then just sludge wave across. It has no effect on Togedomaru, so that's huge. I think that's a lovely little play. Because maybe fake out can come out from Togedomaru, get the Whimscott, and then my shout can fake out the Togedomaru. But we'll see how this turn goes. We shall see how this turn goes. I do have Steel Roller on it. Steel Roller is where it's at, man. Especially with Togedomaru. Yo, this Pokemon rocks. No, just like look at the two Pokemon I have. I have a tiny little mouse and a giant dragon. It's just a giant dragon, but Wimscott ends up protecting. That's a huge turn for him. 
and Fake House is going to come out from my shell, and that's just going to waste all the turns. Well, we get to actually hit up on my shell, which is huge. So this wave pops out, and he gets blocked, and then does not affect Togo tomorrow, and we're just going to be able to hit up on this my shell, which is pretty cool. Get some damage off on that Pokemon, and just bring it down to the Sash. Run it. Run it. Bring that thing down to the Sash. How much damage that did? That's huge. That is huge. Go for a Steel Roller. That is what's up. But you have to actually use this move when it's, uh, when they're with the terrain. So, uh, I'm just gonna go for another Sludge Wave here. Take out both their Pokemon here. Get that Nuzzle up onto this Whimscott, but Whimscott is gonna end up Tailwinding and setting up speed right now. That's totally fine. Here goes my shot with the close combat, and Togo tomorrow might go down here. You son of a biscuit. I still see us picking up a double KO here, which is totally fine by me. I'm cool with that. Togo tomorrow was out there, out and about, doing some work. I dig him a lot. But we're going to be able to get off this Sludge Wave here, get off some big damage, and potentially pick up the double KO, right? Double KO? Yes, sir. Get them both out of my face. So, solid start for us. I mean, he has speed. So, now we're sitting in a tricky little situation. Is that he has speed. So, what can I do for that? I can actually bring out Grimstarl, and I can start pestering speed with uh, Thunder Waves. That might be our play, and save this boy for the back end. I'm with that. We're going to bring out Grimstarl. Grimstarl can start throwing Thunder Waves around if he brings out Shadow Rider Calyrex here. Yep, like you did, we have our boy here for Lash Outs. And I wonder what he's going to go for from there. I wonder what he's going to do. He also has Indeedee. Well, this is male Indeedee. And the Psychic Surge is going to be out here. Which is tough. Because he can just drop double expanding forces. Ooh. I don't know if I like that. Ooh. I don't know if I like that one bit. The Psychic Surge is here. A little tough. I might have to just throw a Thunder Wave right off the rip. Instead of a Lash Out. Lash Out would be the play, but I think I just had the Thunder Wave here. Pankster won't work. Pankster will not work in the surge. That's rough news. That is real rough news. We're just going to have to go for the lash out. And I like Dynamax can. I say we double up into this thing. I don't see it protecting. I think they're going for double expanding forces. Of course he protects him. Of course he protects him. God dang it, man. I really want to double down into it. And a trick is going to happen here. And he's going to take our item. I'm guessing he's taking our life orb or maybe our Babiri Berry. Let's see how this one plays out. Grip Charles Choice Scarf. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. We're attacking. Yo, I'm with that. Yo, I'm so with that. Thank you for the true scarf, my guy. Now we get a little bit of speed boost here. I'm going to double down onto you again. There's no way you're double protecting. And if he lands double protecting, that's going to be real upsetting. Thanks for the true scarf. He's going to go for an astral barrage. So we need my Grimstarl to eat up. We need both of them to actually eat up. Let's see. Jeez, man, that is a ridiculous amount of damage. Ridiculous amount of damage. So if I get out off a of lash out here, we potentially win this game. Let's see what happens here. He gets the Grimnade boost, because we have Aqua Jet to come into the back end for first turn priority. Oh, but then he has the terrain. Oh, my lord. That's when he comes out here. Can you eat this? You should be able to eat this, right, Grimstarl? I love you so much. Yo, take this thing out. Just dump on it. Tell it to go home. Tell it to go home. Get it out of my face. I'm not dealing with it. Get it out of here. I love you, Grimstarl. Yo, I love you, Grimstarl. Yo, great play by me to actually bring in this Pokemon besides the Roll Boom. Huge, huge turn. Huge. That is huge all around. So I got him in the back end here, and the Dazzling Gleam is going to be tough. Actually, the Dazzling Gleam might win him the game. I mean, how many turns left in Tailwind? That's the real question. Oh, Tailwind's over. Or no, wait, Tailwind will be on their side. Nope, one turn in Tailwind. Um, I think I'm just going to double protect here. Oh, no, I'm choiced. All right, so uh, my boy might go down here. I probably have to protect him. Just to get speed advantage. Well, this one's going to come down to the wire. It's going to come down to the wire here. What is he going to do? This one is definitely coming down to the wire. Gleam's going to pop out here. Grimstarl's dead, man. Oh, no. All right, 1v1 here. We have 192 HP. I think Surgeon Strikes has to come out here, right? Tailwind does Peter out, so let's see how this one plays out. I think Surgeon Strikes definitely has to come out here. Out and about. Go for Surgeon Strikes. Gotta get after him this way. Because we can't go for the Aqua Jet because of the terrain. Mm, I don't know how this one's looking. We have 192 HP. We might be able to eat up a Dazzling Gleam. We might, but I don't think we can. Don't be close. He actually outspeeds us still. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? That is a quick little mail in DD, and we actually dropped game one. Solid first game, ended up losing that one. Let's hop to our second battle, look for our first win.
we ended up dropping our first match, but it's all good. We're hopping into our second battle here. We're going to get Toga tomorrow back in the action. Look for a win for him, considering he has Regilecki. So, Toga tomorrow can be huge with that Lightning Rod, and I can just pester around with Nuzzles and all that good stuff. He has two Fake Out users. He also has the Urshifu and the Storm Drain Gastron. So, got to watch out for that one. And then, of course, the Ho-Oh in that back end. Um, I'm going to lead Toga tomorrow. I need Speed Control here and that Counters Act, or Counters Up on the... Uh, the Regilecki, because Regilecki's going to come out here with all electric moves. So I'm just going to have this Toga tomorrow out and about, pestering around early on. And he might lead the, uh, he could definitely lead the Gastrodon. Which in that case, I might just lead the Rillaboom. Actually, let's uh, bring Toga tomorrow in the back end. Let's go Rillaboom and Volcarona as first two turns. And then Toga tomorrow in the back end with Eternatus. Mm, I really want this Urshifu though. Let's actually drop you. Let's go Toga tomorrow in the second slot. Let's go uh, Eternatus and Urshville. I'm digging that. I'm with it all day, baby. I'm with it all day. Let's run it. Let's run it, baby. If he ends up uh, going like Incineroar or something, I can always U-turn it out and get that Intimidate off of me. Just start pestering. But the best part about this Toga tomorrow is we have Steamroll. So that's going to be able to pair well with the, uh, with the Rill Boom, with the Surge. Because I can just take out the Surge. And just deal massive damage with that move. So he's gonna end up going whom? Ho oh and Incineroar. So there's his lead. I can pester. I think I might just drop a nuzzle onto the ho oh and kind of rock out from there. And probably U turn out, right? That might be my play, right? U turn out or fake out onto the. Hmm, what do I do here? Probably fake out onto the ho oh, right? I could drop a double fake out. That might be my play. Double fake out. So we fake out on the U and then just uh, have this token tomorrow outspeed and fake out on the U. And then we definitely want to uh, nuzzle and maybe hit a U turn. That could definitely be our play. But our fake out should be faster, so I should be totally fine with this turn. This token tomorrow should be fast on the field, so we fake out Incineroar. Right? Yep. There's that. And then Robin comes over here and just a double clap on this side. The double fake out. Bop, bop. Just a little bit of pester damage all around. And double flinches come out. Okay, cool. But Terrain is just uh, giving them the HP back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. That's all good. I'm going to U-turn out here onto Incineroar and Pivot, and then I'm just going to Nuzzle and hit up onto this ho -Oh. Just give it a little bit of Paralyze action. Just Pivot out. That's the Gene's turn. That's, that is the Gene's turn here. Then I'm going to swap into Urshfu. I can definitely see a heavy Fire move coming into my uh, Rillaboom slot. Well, let's see how this one's going to play out, yo. Nuzzle comes out here. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, oh, is really tanky, which is tough. But we get a paralyze on it, more importantly, just as we wanted to. He turns going to be able to pop out here, and I can swap into my boy, which is going to be Urshifu. Which is going to be Urshifu. I am focused Sash on my Toga tomorrow, so I should be able to get off another paralyze with him, which is huge. Yo, look at him, yo. He's just jamming. My boy Toga tomorrow, just chilling there. Nice swap by us, and he's going to end up going for a Snarl, which is totally fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. And I think it was just to hit both Pokemon and maybe take off my Sash. Special attack does drop. I'm cool with it. And he's going to end up going for a Secret Fire over on the Urshifu slot. Show it to me. Nope. Over into my Togi, man. Over into my Togi. I thought he was going to go one for one, but it's all good. It is all good. I'm going to get out Eternatus here, and I'm going to get rocking out. I'm going to get rocking out here. I mean, do I think he's going to swap? Potentially, he could. Hmm, but who do I think he's going to swap? I think he's gonna swap. I think he, th he thinks I'm gonna hit the ho -Oh. But he can't protect. He could double swap. I think I'm just gonna close combat. All honesty. Because he could go in with Storm Drain. He has to be Rocket Storm Drain, right? If he's bringing Fire Pokemon, he has to be Rocket Storm Drain. I might just protect this turn. Let's protect and see how this one turns out. Go to a Dynamax Cannon. I'm with it. Let's see if he swaps. Here's the swap. Swaps in Cinnor, that's huge. Into Gastron. Right? Yeah, yo, I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. Think I'm playing around? Think I'm falling for that? Yo, what a turn by me. We protect up. Oh, uh, we ain't even going after you. We're going to be able to get off a nice, lovely little Dynamax Cannon here. Nice, lovely little Dynamax Cannon. And I wasn't a close combat in that slide. So that would have been even better. Let's go here. Bop. Big old damage. Big old damage. 
And you know what? Watch this. The Gastron is going to protect here. So I'm just going to close combat and kill it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to close combat and kill that thing. Tell it to go home. Tell it to go home. We don't need it here. We don't need it here. I think a close combat should be able to pick up KO onto that, right? I, I think it could. I think it could. And we're just going to slide our Dynamax Cannon over on this side. And I feel like a Paralyze is coming out very, very soon. Very, very soon. We haven't got our first one yet. Yeah, I can totally see Astronaut protecting. I can totally see it protecting. Then Unseen Fish just comes out. Hits right through it. Let's see. What you got, Gastro? What you doing here? Maybe I should double down into it, but we'll see. He ends up withdrawing you and going probably into Incineroar again, right? Is that correct? Yep, Incineroar's going to come back out here. And now Gastron might be able to eat this one out. But I still, I'm still hoping it protects. I'm still hoping it protects. I might end up uh, hard swapping him. Let's see what happens here. Dynamax Cannon flies through here. And he does not protect. He does not protect. So we end up sending that this way. And we start ripping up some damage on that thing. And Citrus Berry's probably going to pop, right? Is he a Citrus Berry kind of guy? He is not. No Citrus Berry for him. Close combat flies through here. And that would have been able to pick up the KO without that attack drop. Without that attack drop, that would have been huge. So I definitely should swap Earth Screw right now. He's going to end up recovering. And how should I play this one? Should I just keep sending Dynamax Cannons? I could just keep sending Dynamax Cannons. But I think a hard swap is much needed for my boy. And another Dynamax Cannon over onto maybe... Mm, who do I think he... Or I could just double down into the Incineroar slot. I think I might double down into the Incineroar slot here. Because who do I think he's going to fake out? I'm doubling down. I'm taking out this Incineroar. I'm getting after this Incineroar. I want him out of here. I want him out of here. I hard swap Earth Spoon next turn. Even though his defense is down. We'll see what this Gastro does. This Gastro, is Gastro going to protect? He might not. He might not. Now that he knows I'm targeting him. That much cannon comes out and he does not go for a fake out. He opts out of the fake out. If I double down into this Pokemon, we're going to be able to take him out. No problem. Hopefully this actually takes him out. Brings him down to one, man. Pretty much one. Right down to that red. Close combat's going to fly through Incineroar. Get out of my face. Alright, so Incineroar's gone. Um, we could bring in Rillaboom whenever we want. I'm trying to waste out this Surge, you know? But I would love to just send a heavy Grassy Glide into that Pokemon. And Recover's going to come out. So I really, I really dig that turn. I'm really digging that turn. That thing's back up to full HP, which is cool by me. I'm cool with it. And I think Ho-Oh might come back out here. But the Surge is really helping out my turn at this. It really is, considering it's uh, neglecting a lot of the life orb damage. So Togo tomorrow's dead. His Incident War's dead. We have a Paralyze on his Ho-Oh, and he has Gastron. That's all that we know. We don't know his final Pokemon. Maybe he might show it here, but I definitely have to hard swap this Urshfu now. His defense is in the trash, and he has minus one. So he's going to end up throwing Urshfu out here just as well. And it is the water one, so hey, you already know who we're bringing out here. Do a hard swap into you, and we're going to get rocking. And I could just go for a Sludge Wave. No, Sludge Wave would be super effective. I think I just drop a Dynamax Cannon into Urshfu. I think Urshfu poses that bigger threat. I think he just poses that bigger threat, right? Double Dynamax Cannon into it. Uh, Gastron might just go for a Water Move. I don't really know what he's going to do here. And then we get out that Roll Boom. Roll Boom's going to be huge. And then we have that Urshfu in that back end yet again for that Ho-Oh in that late game. So right now we're playing pretty well here. I really do like how we're playing here. It's looking pretty decent for us, but you never know. You never know. Roboom out and about. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Grassy Surge is back in effect, which is huge. So we wasted those turns perfectly for our Roboom to come out here and set another Surge. The close combat's gonna fly, and that's gonna be some big damage. Is he doubling down into him? Because then that could be tough. Because then that could be tough. Here's Dynamax Cannon here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's going to be some big damage here. How much are we going to bring him down to? Just one tap. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of my face, yo. No crit needed. That thing's just a lightweight. That thing's just a lightweight. Now, what is Gastron going for? Going for... Oh, no way. Better be into... Uh, okay, Eternatus. That's cool. I was going to say, no way he sub went into Rillaboom and read that. That would have been nutty. That would have been nutty if he would have read that and took out my Rillaboom. That would probably be like the only way he's winning. But I do have Fake Out ready to roll. And I feel like Gastron has to protect here, right? Or it's dead. So I might just fake out the Ho-Oh and make that hard read. Or do I pose this threat right here? I think we just fake out onto the Ho-Oh. I think I'd say we just double into the Ho-Oh and read the protect on Gastron. That's what I'm doing. 
That's what I'm doing. He's trying to protect him from grassy guys, right? Run it. Run it, baby. Yo, Jeans knows how to play. Jeans knows how to play, baby. We get that fake out, we flinch him, we can grassy guy and take that thing out next turn. Get it out of my face, and we get off a big old diamond cannon. Yo, run it, baby. Run it. Feeling good, baby. Feeling good. Making some hard reads. Making some good plays. Dynamax can doing some big damage. And I can't believe he's letting he turn to stay in this battle this long. He is just wiping. He's just doing big damage on bulky Pokemon. On bulky Pokemon like Incineroar, Ho-Oh, and Gastrodon. And then when Urshifu came out, we just won Tapu. But Grassy Guy can come out here for free. We can do that. And then we can just Dynamax Cannon once again and pretty much finish up this battle. I think Grassy Guy should be able to take that thing out in one turn, right? Stab, super effective, grassy surge. He tries protecting again. Get that thing out of my face, yo. Gastron, come here. Let me tell you something. Come here. Get out of here. Get him gone. Get him out of my game. Trying to double protect in my game. Not happening. Not happening whatsoever. Dynamax Cannon comes out here for like the sixth time this match. We're just throwing these left and right. And can we pick up the KO for the win? Show it to me. Show it to me. Let's go. Let's go. One and one for today's video. Let's hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for a winning record here. Going up against a Xerneas team alongside Volcarona, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Regilecki, and Urshifu. So pretty meta team. I feel like this is the, the most used Xerneas team. So hopefully we can get after it and catch ourselves a win. I want to lead Togedemaru because he poses a threat on that Xerneas. And then he also poses a threat onto that Regilecki because he cannot uh, use his electric move. So we're going to go there and might actually set a terrain. If he goes in Cinnamon, then we can just hard swap or we can just fake out and roll out from there. Fake out U-turn is definitely a play as well. So I'm going to go in with the same lead. Um, I could go Volcarona. I could go lovely little Volcarona. I definitely want Urshifu here. And the dude, he, he turned this just too good. He's just too good. I got to bring him in here, right? I got to bring in the boy. We gotta bring in the boy. Let's run it. Let's rock out here. Volcarona is not gonna see the light today, but it's all good. We showed off Volcarona in uh, plenty of other videos. But hopefully, we can grab ourselves this win. I really want it, man. I really want this win. I really want it. Hopefully, he can lead at uh, Xerneas, and then we can just hit him with a steel, a steel roller. That would be nuts. That would be nuts. The power of Token tomorrow can be fully shown off if that happens. Let's see who he leads. He's gonna go out with. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. I think we double fake out first turn. I think for sure we double fake out. For sure we double fake out. I think for sure we double fake out. Right? My boy should outspeed him. And fake out. Actually, I'm gonna make sure we get the fake outs off by uh Token tomorrow we know is the fastest. So having him fake out his fake out user will leave our fake out user to fake out his exertness. Does that make sense? Fake out, fake out, fake out, fake out. The Protect comes out from there. That's totally fine. We just don't want him to set up his uh, Geomance first turn. So I'm just going to drop some fake outs, and we're just going to go from there. Just waste out that turn. That turn is uh, in the dumpsters. It's totally fine. It is totally fine. He flinches, a Protect comes out, and we're just chilling here. We are chilling here. Now, I can do it. Now your boy can do it. Come here. Come here, Zern. I might you turn out. I might knock off this thing's item. I'm gonna take off this thing's item. Again, I have to say. How much damage can Togi do? I'm curious to see how much Togi can do here. It's gonna be stab. It's gonna be super effective. The terrain is here. It's out and about. Let's get it, baby. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty. Let's see it. Come on. Come on, do him dirty. He's gonna end up withdrawing. Yo, you lucky. You're lucky, man. This dude is so lucky. Brings out Volcarona. Yo, you kidding me, man? You lucky son of a gun. Did he see that coming? He definitely saw that coming. Get him out of here, yo. Flame body comes out. Come on, man. Come on, man. Grass terrain does disappear here. That's whack. That's so whack. u turn can come out here. I'm also going to U-turn here. But he, his U-turn came out first, yo. You are so lucky, dog. Yo, dude, the steel roller was coming out. It was coming out. Guy totally had to watch out for it. I can't believe you saw that coming. And he brings back. Oh, you buttery biscuit, man. I'm just going to nuzzle it. Oh, no. I have knockoff coming here. I wasn't U-turn. That's huge. So we can take off his power herb. Yes, sir. Yo, get that power herb out of here. Okay, I'll take that turn all day. I'll take that turn all day. Because now I can just uh, nuzzle. Slow you down. And then I could U-turn. Or I might just hard swap. 
gonna hard swap into Urshifu here. Hard swap into Urshifu. Do 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 do. Let's see, because this could be tough, because you could be going for a fairy move as well. But I really don't see him going for a fairy move up against my, uh, my Rillaboom. boom. See what happens here. Moonblast comes in here, and it is. That's tough news. I feel like he just had to, so I, I feel like I should have uh, thought out that turn a little bit longer. I feel like I definitely should have uh, thought out that turn a little bit longer. Because, I like, in my head, I'm like, this thing has all fairy moves. And he cannot hit my steel Pokemon. I doubt he's going to go after him. He's going to end up doing that. Wait, wait did he, like, misclick? I don't know. No, he just wants the special attack fall. But okay, uh, that, down goes my Pokemon with that. Uh, I got to bring out Xerneas. Got to bring out my boy here. And, yo, we got to get rid of that Pokemon over there. That buttery biscuit over there needs to go. He needs to drop. He needs to be dead. He needs to be put in a retirement home. We need to get him out of a game. That dang deer, yo. He's so good. He's so good all around. So I'm just going to actually... I might just help a hand here. Give him a little bit of helping hand and just drop a huge old sludge leaf. That's definitely our play. It's got to be our play. It's stab. It's super effective. We have life orb damage coming out here. We also have our uh, helping hand plus damage. So that's going to be nice. That is going to be wonderful. Let's see how this one does. He might end up protecting. And he does not. So that's cool. That is awesome. That is dope. He turns this doom dirty. I need some help here. You might. You should be able to outspeed. He goes for rage power. That's huge. Should be able to outspeed because this thing's paralyzed, right? Sludge wave comes through. Does not affect Togi. All this guy do is hit up on the deer. Yes, sir. Take it out. Take out the deer. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. Very, 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 very big turn for us. So we get rid of the deer. We still have Rollboom in the back end. I think he's going to bring out Rollboom this turn. And I might just nuzzle up on it. I think ends up eating up his berry, which, which I'm cool with. Togo tomorrow is going to take a little bit of burn. But he's out here just pestering, helping handing. Just doing work, which I might do that again. We do that again. Or he might fake out if he goes into the room. Let's see. He's going to go in Cinnamore, so he's definitely going to drop another fake out. He's definitely going to drop another fake out, so I might just protect Eternatus and go for a nice little nuzzle. I could double protect here, which could be our play. But I think he goes for the fake out onto Eternatus, right? He's going to be like, hey, I don't want you hitting again. You're hitting way too hard. So protect comes out from my boy. Calling out the fake outs, making the reads. Yo, dude, your boy's been on with the reads right, as of recently. The boy's been on with the reads. Nuzzle comes out here. We get a paralyze. I was gonna double protect, but I'm just like, yeah, let me make a let me make a better play here. So we get a paralyze on you. That's huge. Struggle bug's gonna come out here. Block, baby. Get this thing out of here. Okay. The struggle bug's coming out here. That's gonna drop a special attack on Togo tomorrow. And I think I just drop another help of can, right? I could. I could indeed do that. Indeed, I could do that. We could make an inquisitive play. We could get after this. Good nuzzle again. I don't think I'm going to go for the helping hand play. Just sludge wave. I think it's going to be play. I think that's Gene's call right here. We have a nuzzle already onto the instant roll, which is big. Helping hand is going to fly through here. Clap, 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 clap. We're going to roll after this thing. He's going to go for the protect onto you. That's totally fine. We'll deal some damage onto the instant roll slot. I'm with it all day, baby. I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. I want it all, baby. But that's just the best part about having Token tomorrow out here. That's some big damage. That's some big damage, baby. Triggers Barry, yo. Another helping hand into a sludge wave. Could do him dirty. Could do him dirty. Let's see. Is he going to go for Flare Blitz here? He is. Togo tomorrow. It was an honor. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Togo tomorrow, thanks for staying around here. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking around here, Togi. You know what you can do now, Togi? You can give off another helping hand here because why not do the same exact thing? You give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. And he cancels the battle. Let's get it, guys. Winning record for today's video. We went 2-1 today and was able to grab that winning record. But more importantly, got to show off the two Pokemon who I really want to, which was Eternatus and Toga tomorrow. We got him in on every single battle, and we showed him off to their fullest potential. The only thing we didn't get to show off was Toga tomorrow's Steel Roller, but we were this close to using it up against uh, Xerneas, and that would have been awesome and would have made the video 10 times better, but it's all good. We still ended up picking up that win and showing off Toga tomorrow, helping handing up with Eternatus and just dominating with those sludge waves. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.